Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna be talking about egg wraps and the ones that I used in the lasagna. I got some comments yesterday, some questions, and I'm just gonna talk a little bit at the end about the egg wraps. So make sure you stay tuned. Today I'm doing a short video on how to count carbs. Let's say you make a casserole and you want to divide it up into 12 pieces, well, you want to know how to get the carb count for each piece of that 12-piece casserole. So today I'm gonna to be talking about just that. I'm sitting in front of my very skinny pencil Christmas tree. I did end up putting it up a little earlier than I usually do this year because I ordered it from Amazon a couple of weeks ago. I didn't wanna drag the box down into the basement and then in a couple of weeks, bring it back up and put it up. So I thought I'm gonna go ahead and throw it up now. And I have really been enjoying it so much. I'm gonna show you how I do a carb count on a really simple dish. I'm gonna do my tomato soup that I make with Rayo's and this is the tomato basil. Let's say I was gonna use this whole jar to make a pot of soup. Now I use Carb Manager, it's an app. You can go to your app store. I just use the free version on Carb Manager. I went onto the Carb Manager app and I set up an account. Just enter the foods that I eat into the Carb Manager. I only count carbs. I stay under 20 carbs a day, total carbs, not net carbs. I don't count calories, I don't count fat, I don't count protein. I just count my carbs and I just keep them under 20 grams a day but I find it very helpful to enter my ingredients into Carb Manager when I'm not sure what I'm eating. I eat a lot of the same foods, and over time I have learned how many carbs are in certain things, so I don't use Carb Manager every single day. I use it when I am making a new recipe and I wanna figure out the carb count. You can download the Carb Manager app. There are also other carb apps that you can check out, or you can just Google it online and not have to have an app at all and just look up how many carbs are in certain foods. You can also just do the math. So this Rayo's right here has six total carbs. Now it does have one gram of fiber and people who count net carbs can subtract that one gram of fiber from the total carbs and get five net carbs. I don't count net carbs, I count total carbs. And so I'm gonna say that there is six carbs in a half a cup of this sauce. There are five servings in this jar. Oh, you have six carbs times five servings is 30 carbs. Let's say I use this whole jar, that's gonna be 30 carbs so far in this pot of soup. The next thing is this beef bone broth and bone broth has zero carbs, so you don't have to count this. And heavy whipping cream. Now this heavy whipping cream here says that it is zero carbs. Some of the brands that you buy say one carb for one tablespoon. Some say less than one carb for a tablespoon. This is something else about the way the companies do this uh, nutrition label here. If the tablespoon ends up being less than one carb, they will put it as zero. So I do count my carbs in the heavy whipping cream when I'm making this in the soup. The reason why I don't like to put the total carb counts on the food on my blog, not everybody uses the same brands, which could affect the carb count. Also, not everybody eats the same portion. So what I do is I take the 30 carbs from the Rayos and I think it ends up being two or three carbs for the heavy whipping cream in this recipe. I'm not completely sure on that. Just enter it into your own carb count. So what I do is I take the total carbs for all of the ingredients that I'm using in the recipe. And then I go to my calculator and I divide that by how many portions I'm gonna get. I portion the soup out myself into four servings. Some people might get two servings, some people might get six servings. It depends on how much tomato soup you want. So I take all of the ingredients, I get my total carb count, which is I think somewhere around 33 carbs for the whole pot, don't quote me on that. I take whatever that total number is and I divide it by however many servings I'm gonna get. Today, I'm gonna be dividing it with this soup into four servings. In my calculator, I'm gonna do 30, some carbs divided by four and then equals that is how you get your carb count per serving yesterday i made keto lasagna it is so good i will link the video right here at the end 
but we ended up getting about 10 pieces of lasagna out of that skillet that I made. I would just take that total number and divide it by 10 pieces because we got 10 pieces of lasagna out of that skillet and whatever that number is, is the carb count per piece. It's pretty easy once you figure it out, but you wanna make sure that when you're making a meal that is gonna feed several people, that you count the total carbs of every ingredient that you're using and then just divide it by whatever portions you get out of that and you will have your total carb count per serving. Now let's talk about the egg wraps that I used really quick for the lasagna. I don't have the package that these came in. I threw it away yesterday. I'm gonna put a little picture right here of what they look like. I find mine at Aldi or Sam's Club. If you know of a place that carries them, comment down below to help others find these wraps. Here is an egg wrap right here. Look how thin this is. Okay, I think six come in a pack. If you get them from Sam's Club, they have a bigger pack. But these are what I use for my pasta replacement in lasagna. Look how thin these are. These are a different texture than the Egg Life wraps. They make a great pasta substitute. Somebody even commented that they use these for noodles and they turned out really great. These are the Egg Life wraps. Now, I just had these in my freezer. I freeze all of my egg wraps. They store really well in the freezer and I just pulled these out of the freezer and these are actually the sweet cinnamon egg life wraps. I would not use this flavor in lasagna. I also have some other different flavors that might go okay in lasagna. Never tried it before in lasagna. These are a little bit different texture than these. They are a little bit thicker and they don't come apart as easily. I have not tried the Egg Life wraps in lasagna, but I have heard that other people have and they come out great. If you have tried the Egg Life wraps in lasagna, let us know down below in the comments how it turned out. If you can find these, I highly recommend these in the lasagna and I double layer these so that they'll be a little bit thicker and they come out so, so tasty. So that is my video for today. I hope that it was helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. I will see you very soon in my next video. Have a great day and God bless.